Yeah, yeah, this is how we do it in the Central Coast, man. We got 40 ounces, old English, rag tops, six foreign collars, and bikini girls, man. This is how we do it on the West Coast. San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles. But don't forget about the Central Cali, man. Please don't forget about the Central Cali. Yeah, get them. It's another sunny day in the state of California Low water palm trees, them G's that put it on ya This ain't a negative, we speaking in bonnets Rag talk, candy paint on these with hydraulics Baseball hat with the sticker on the ring Don't let the shine blind your sight cause things can get real But I'm not here to talk about banana clips and guns We're going back to Cali and we're gonna have some fun A West Coast domination and Welcome back to Two-Face Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Fred Segura, out here in Monterey County, also known to the world as the Salad Bowl, also known as the Salinas Valley. To the people in LA, we are north. To the people in San Francisco, we are south. Right smack in the middle, best of both worlds. Don't forget about the Central Kelly. Anyway, folks, today we are going to talk about another paranormal activity that I uh, witnessed. This time it was in my home. Um, and again, due to, at the time of this being recorded, uh, we are in the month of October, so I thought I'd share, you know, a little bit of, uh, some Halloween stuff with you, if you will, for that matter. Um, the other sense is that I did do this, uh, I did tell this story on this very, uh, channel before, uh, but it was only audio at the time but again now that we're doing video I'd like to share this with you on video so this way you see me telling the the story anyhow uh I don't recall what year this was to be honest with you but um it might have been about 2003 maybe if yeah I believe it was around that time 2003 2004 is somewhere around that time Anyhow, and what happened was, uh, it was a Saturday, and I was at home. It was, I was off that day, and I was at home. So what happened was, uh, it was, I would say, about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, get a knock on the door. Right. Uh, I get up, I open the door, and it's this gentleman, an old gentleman, very, very, very elderly. Um, he was wearing... Uh, a tan khaki suit, uh, like a straw hat, but it wasn't like a straw hat like in the field or it wasn't all thrash. It was actually a really nice hat. He was well kept, you know, well groomed and stuff, right? Uh, as far as I could tell. And he was wearing sandals, I believe, right? Excuse me. And what happened was he, uh, he, he asked me, uh, if I remember correctly, he asked if, uh, if I could help him out because he was trying to get to Napa, which is like hours from me. It's up north. And if I could help him out with anything that he needed, you know, like perhaps money and food and stuff like that, right? So I don't know what gave me this instinct. And, you know, some people could say, hey, you know what, this, you know, I wouldn't have did that or, you know, that was kind of nicely that was nice of you to do that Fred like I that doesn't you know it doesn't go through my head like oh I'm gonna do a nice deed it just like it just it was a instinct you know an impulse right away right and I said hey uh I said you know why don't you come in so I invited him into the home again that might be that may be wrong to some people if you think about it in a, in a spiritual way but anyhow he comes in uh, I told my wife, hey, you know what, this is this is going on. She said, hey, okay, you know what, check this out. Uh, okay, you know, we need a couple of things. She was going to make uh, breakfast. So I said, uh, and I'm not a breakfast guy, so I'm like, oh, whatever. But I said, all right, cool. Tell me what you need. So she tells me everything she needs. And I told the, the, the gentleman, I said, hey, uh, why, well, you know, why don't you come with me? We'll go to the store, right? And he says, okay, yeah, cool. So we get in the car and um, we go to the store, right? We're in my car and, and you know, he, he, I mean, for somebody who's been, you know, doesn't have any money, any food and, you know, seems like he's out in the street, 
you know, but he's well dressed. He's doesn't. There's no body odor. There's nothing. There's, there's nothing at all whatsoever. Nothing. So I'm like, okay, you know, I, but I didn't. That didn't register at that point. That was later on when you, when I get to the ending of that of what happened. So anyway, we go to the store, get everything we needed, went back home. Uh, we feed him. We feed him, and uh, he's uh, he's very happy. He said he's going to Napa. He that he's going to see his son, and that um, he's going to visit his son. And hey, he's been on the road for two days, walking from I don't know what part of uh, Mexico he was coming from. And I was like, two, two. I mean, two. Did I say two days? Two weeks. He's been on the road for two weeks. I think I said two days earlier. But anyway, it was two weeks. <laughs> Excuse me. So he says he's been on the road for two weeks. And I was like, wow, you know, okay. You know, we eat and, and, and everything else. And he tells a couple of jokes. And, you know, he's just a very kind gentleman. You know, he's just very, very... uh very cool, very calm, very, just very nice. Again, he's very clean for somebody who's been on the road for two weeks. Hitchhiking, if you will. And um, in the midst of stuff, I asked him, I said, hey, um, because he only spoke Spanish. So I said, hey, uh, listen, um, uh, so where, where are the house did you go to? I go, Cause some of these neighbors are not like the kind of people, you know, sometimes they can, you know, uh, that's not saying nothing bad about it, it's just like, you know, they don't, they, you know, some people just don't, you know, just don't like that, and he says, uh, well, he goes, I came to the corner, he goes, and I looked around, because then I came straight to the house, this is the first one, and I was like, wow, <laughs> I was like, wow, well, you know, I, I said, well, you got lucky, you know, you got lucky, and he's like, yeah, you know, he's just, you know, whatever. So, um, we continue there and stuff, and, and he says he needs to get onto the road, you know, he needs to get on the road and stuff, and I, and I was like, okay, well, cool. So, my wife made him, like, a bunch of burritos and stuff, and we gave him a bunch of waters and juices, and, and, um, I gave him some, um, yes, I had my mom at the time, I was taking care of my mom at the time, so, I gave him a bunch of like multivitamins and uh, like glucosamine pills just for him to, you know what I mean, to be to be good and you know, we gave him all this stuff and then we gave him money, which at, at the time, you know, I still carry cash, I don't carry cash no more guys, but anyhow, um, I gave him, a, you know, a couple of bucks um, and he was like, oh thank you, he put it in his backpack and stuff and he was like, oh, thank you, you know, thank you. And I was like, hey, you know what, be safe, man. You know, uh, uh, you know, I hope you have a, uh, you know, I hope you get to where you need to get to and stuff. And he goes, well, how do I get to the freeway? And, I, you know, so we're explaining to him how to get to the freeway. Um, and uh, I explained to him, open the door. He walks out. I close it. Now, mind you, this is in real time here. I close it, and my wife says, "You know what? Why don't you give, why don't you uh, give him a ride? You know, why, why are you going to walk all the way to the freeway?" I said, "You know what? You're right." I opened the door, and boom, he was gone. And I was like, "That's how long it took." Close the door. Hey, why don't you give him a ride? You know what? You're right. Boom, open the door. Well, he was. You got ghosts on me, yo. Like, what the heck? Like, hey, man, what, like, what's going on, you know? Um, I went to the end of the sidewalk. Mind you, there's a sidewalk to get to, the, to you know, from, from my house to the sidewalk. He couldn't have gotten that far within that amount of time. I, I quickly looked to the neighbor's house. He wasn't there. He couldn't have even, he couldn't even have gotten across the street in that amount of time. I went to the end of the street, actually went down to, yes, yes, I ran, yes. I looked, nowhere to be found. I even went back into the, to the, 
to the block where they were at in the street and stuff, and he was nowhere to be found. He just poof, gone. And I was like, what the heck? Like, I'm still in, I'm still, I still cannot explain that as to what it is, right? Uh, I've talked to some people, I've told this people, uh, some people this story before. Uh, shout out Marvelous Inc. I spoke to him one time and I was talking to him on the phone. He, you know, well not he, but a lot of different people have said like, dude, you shouldn't have opened the door. You shouldn't have invited them into your home. You know, could have been a bad spirit. Could have been, you know, could have been this, could have been that. Okay, I, I understand that. And I'm very open-minded about stuff like that. Uh, in a spiritual way, if you think about it, like, you say, well, was it a, was it a, an evil spirit that you, was come, trying to come into your home? Was it a, a roaming, you know, a lost soul? And for those of you who believe or who don't, who don't believe, let me just put it out to you like this. Could it have been God himself? Right? And it, and it says, hey, you know what? Um, you know, when I asked for help, did you give me help? You know, that kind, that kind of deal, right? And I'm not going to sit here and preach. This is not a preaching channel. But, um, again, I am a man of faith, and I do walk in faith, and, and I do believe. But I'm not going to go there into that right now. I'm just, like, kind of freaked out about it. You know what I mean? Not, not in a bad way. I can't say I'm freaked out in a bad way. I'm more kind of, like, in the sense of, like, wow, that was... Uh, that was strange. And I'm not worried about the money. I'm not worried about the burritos. I'm not worried about the vitamins or whatever else. I'm just kind of like really intrigued as to where did he go? Like, where did he go, man? There was no way, no way he could have just got, the, got away that fast. Literally, I'm going to say it one more time, guys. Close the door. He walked out. I saw him walking. And he wasn't walking fast. I mean, I'm not going to say. I mean, even if he was walking regular, you know. I closed the door. My wife says, why are you going to let me walk all the way to free? Why don't you come right? Well, you know what? You're right. Open the door. Boom. Poof. poof. He's gone. In every direction. In every direction. He is ghost. So, I mean, again, I have no explanation to that other than who could it have been. Um, is it, you know, was it really a lost soul? I'm glad I helped him out. I mean... I don't know what he do with the money, but I mean, it, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm trying to make a little sense of humor into this, but um, I really don't, I really don't know. I really don't know, but I am glad that I, uh, I am glad that I experienced that. Um, sorry guys, my phone actually fell right now, but anyhow, um, Going back to that, uh, I am really glad I experienced that. I, I'm, re I'm really glad I got to experience that. I mean, I don't have an explanation for it, you know. Um, I wish I could. There's just some things that can't be explained, you know. I, it, it's unexplainable. Uh, but again, it's... It's something that happened, and um, that's it. That's it. Um, but if, you know, if any of you have ever experienced something like that, or you have a comment about it or whatever, respectable, please be respectable. Please leave a comment down below. Um, with that, guys, this is Two Face Entertainment Podcast. I'm your host, Fred Segura, signing out.